Well, good day, guys. So, I'm going to try something new that I've never, never ever done before. Yeah, as I plan on doing a little bit of footholding, running some footholds, so I'm going to try and make um, a little bit of bait. I've got all the lure and stuff I'm going to need, but I used to always put, like, say, a beaver leg or some kind of beaver meat in the hole and stuff. So I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to do a couple different batches. I already ground all this up. The only grinder I have is a good one for uh, making sausage and hamburger and stuff and mama won't let me use it so. Had to resort to my little KitchenAid chopper. It, it worked. It made it kind of like a paste which is exactly what I want. So in this batch, <clears throat> what I've got, it's all old stuff that I found in the deep freeze and got from couple of the neighbors but I've got a little bit of fish I got a little bit of salmon a little bit of chicken and a little bit of pork all mixed in here and it already smells quite strong it's got a good fishy smell to it so that's why I didn't want to add any like other red meat to this the other stuff I'm gonna do will be uh, probably beaver meat for sure I might do one just out of the beaver meat I don't know unless I can find any old meat in the deep freeze like red meat and try and make a, a batch out of that so I'm just gonna keep it in an ice cream pail look for something glass like a big glass jar and stuff but I don't have anything that I can use right now so I'm going to put a rag over top of it I punched a few holes in just for the gases to go out I don't know if this will work or not I just don't want the flies to get in here and what I'm gonna do is let it sit out in the Sun I have no idea how long it's going to take because I've never done this before. And then I'm undecided what I'm going to add to it. I, I know I'm going to definitely add a little bit of the, the beaver caster. I'm going to add, I have some oil glands and stuff from the beaver, so I'm definitely going to add that. Like I said, with uh, this, I'll have a few different jars, like whatever, so I can add, say, beaver caster to one and then. I have some mink gland lure uh, and weasel I believe so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to one jar and then the mink to the other jar and so on and so forth and just see what works maybe none of this will work I don't know I just got to try and keep their their curiosity or keep them focused on the hole and not uh, where my trap set so I'm gonna try and bait it because I used to always bait it with just straight red meat raw meat like back straps or a leg out of a beaver and stuff like that so but there it is it's pretty light in color because it's all chicken and a little piece of salmon some fish some pork I don't have any pork fat I was gonna put a little pork fat in there hoping that would render down a little bit so I'm not sure how many days this is gonna take maybe it'll take quite a while it's not too warm today I probably should have did this uh, a couple weeks ago but so and we'll see I'm gonna try and get this to work that lid might not even stay on here no I don't know if it'll work maybe I just wanted the rag on here just they shouldn't the fly shouldn't be able to get through those little holes and I gotta let the gases out so I don't know we'll see I'll probably fold that up or tape it up like so or even cut it off I guess I'll probably just cut the damn thing off just so that the Sun can get at the sides of this but I started to make this in the house and let's just say I got kicked out to the to the first shed pretty quick so Okay guys, well I'll keep uh, keep you updated and we'll check it here in a couple days and see what it's going to be like. So we have let this sit for, I don't know, I'm going to say about four days. Uh, I don't want it to be too strong. It hasn't been overly warm out, but with how this smells right now, it... Uh, I think it may be done it's pretty rank pretty rough so I'm using just kosher salt um, I don't have like a 
Oh, what is it called? Sodium benzonate, I think is what it's called. But I'm just going to use salt in here to try and stop um, some of the, the process of it breaking down anymore. That might be a little too much. We'll mix it up and see. She's pretty rank. I've, uh, I've never made bait like this before. Like I said, I only ever used to use like the back straps or a, a leg off a beaver or something. But I thought I'd try it this way. So I'm going to add caster. I might actually add a little more salt. I'm not worried about if it's going to taste a little too salty because hopefully by the time he tastes it, I've got him. So I've got some of my, this is oil uh, from the beaver caster and it is also a little bit of liquid from in the caster so I'm going to add some of that to it. And I've got my old caster here that I'm going to actually dump all the caster in it. There's not a whole bunch here, but I seem, it seems like I've got a fairly big batch of bait for what I'm going to use. So I don't think the, the smell of this caster is going to overpower the, the smell of the bait. Maybe, maybe not, but. <clears throat> yeah, see this stuff's kind of hard. I don't know, yeah, I'll probably put it all in and try it. And just see. There's a little bit left in there, but that's okay. So, and I'm going to add a little bit of glycerin in. Earlier when I got home, there was quite a bit of liquid in here. It's cooling off now, so... A lot of that liquid subsided. This is actually a pretty nasty mash of the bait. Let's hope that this is going to work. Some of the, I can see here, some of the pig fat never quite rendered down yet, but that's okay. It gives it a little bit of body, but it's kind of nasty stuff. It stinks. So, that's my empty container. I guess I'll use these first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit in here. I should actually have another container, but I don't have one that I can use to mix in, I don't think. Actually, I can use this pail. Ideally, I would like to mix it um, out of the jar. So we'll see if I can't scoop some of this goodness in here. Now that I've opened this up, there's a few flies coming around. So for this one, I'm going to add, so it's Dan Beaver, it's canine lure. I'm going to add a little bit of the canine lure to it and just see if it's going to make a difference. I'm going to have some just plain as it is. Add a little bit of the canine lure to some 
and I'm actually going to maybe add a little bit of the the weasel lure it's a nice pasty consistency I'm going to try and get some sheep's wool and this should stick to that actually quite nice get that mixed in as best as I can I guess and I'll see how easy it's going to be to put in these jars so you can see there's a little bit of pig fat on that one It's definitely got nice consistency. I wasn't going for a super strong um, smell, I guess. I kind of wanted it to be, I wanted it to be stinky and keep their attention, obviously. But I didn't want a real strong one because I have um, another one. What the heck is it called? It's kind of like a long distance call lure, I guess. Down beaver. Um, Ian makes them himself and that's got pretty pungent odor so for any real strong ones I'm gonna gonna use some of that with it but I thought I'd just try and make some of this and just see I've never like I said I've never done it um, so it's gonna be a learning curve but hopefully it works I might have had just a hair too much There. So as you can see, it's pretty light in color, but granted it's fish and salmon, and yes, I know salmon's a fish, but there's other like white fish in it. Salmon, chicken, pork, I believe is what I have in here. So Okay guys, well I'm going to Mix a few more up, try a couple of different batches, and hopefully it's going to work. I'll try and make a video and maybe show you guys how, uh, how it turns out or what kind of works better or if any of them even work. It might not even work for me, so we'll see. Okay, guys, thanks. So I just finished up with everything now, and this is what I ended up with. So this one, obviously it all they all have beaver caster in it. This one... I added a little bit of uh, a weasel lure to it, not too much, just to see if it's going to make any difference. This one is a uh, Dan Beaver canine lure, added a little bit to that one. Uh, this one is, it's my long, Dan Beaver long distance call. Now I didn't have a whole bunch left, so what I did is I mixed it all up in a bowl, and both of these are actually the bait itself. Now this one, excuse me, is... I added a little bit of mink lure to it. Is it going to work? I don't know. That's that's why I'm doing this. And this one, I scraped a little more beaver caster out of here and loaded it up with a little extra caster. And then this was the remainder of the bucket. It's just the, the straight stuff I started with to see if, if that makes a difference compared to any of these. Uh, with this one, what I did is... <clears throat> I added a little more glycerin to it. Uh, in the past when I made, took beaver caster, made some caster lure, uh, the last time I did it, it got a little bit dry on me, so I had to add a little more glycerin, uh, make it a little more runny. So with this one, I added more glycerin. I'm almost wondering if I haven't added enough glycerin with uh, the rest of these, so I'll have to kind of just watch them. Over the next couple days, uh, I have all the lids on pretty loose. They are tight enough that a fly won't get in there, um, but loose enough that if I didn't put enough salt in and they keep uh, tainting, at least the gas can uh, escape, so I'll have to watch that 
over the next couple of days make sure I added enough salt if not I'll have to dump them out individually into different containers and add a little more salt to it but I think I put more than enough in so we'll see if it's gonna gonna work or not so I'm gonna label these here after so I know what's what and what I plan on doing the idea anyways is what I'm going to do hopefully within the next couple weeks is I'm going to make mock dirt holes say I'll make three mock dirt holes and I can put up trail cameras on video and see if the animals come um, which hole they go to first and do they actually dig will they actually try and dig them out or are they not strong enough or not attractive enough to him to waste his time to dig it out they should but we'll see and then I'll probably do that in a few different spots just so I have an idea of which lure will work better um, I don't know if the fish and the pork and stuff will work better than say red meat like muskrat or beaver or even beef I've seen some guys do it with beef but so yeah well that's the plan um, I'll try and do that obviously and if I get pretty good results and stuff I might uh, make a video out of it and just kind of show you guys what I've I've come up with I guess like I said, I've never done this before and and stuff, so it's all going to be a learning curve and I might as well try it now. So if I need to make another batch, for whatever reason, say this stuff doesn't work at all, um, I'll probably try one out of red meat. I've got beaver in the deep freeze right now. I just might thaw one of them out and use that as red meat and try and taint that. See how it works, because I see most guys using red meat, I guess. But with the fish and stuff here... I don't know, potentially a raccoon may come because I watched uh, one video where guys are using fish and kind of doing it kind of the same way and they're using it for raccoons. But So we'll see. If you guys got any, um, any pointers of what I should have done or could have done or should do next time, um, please leave a comment just let me know. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. That would be pretty awesome if you guys did and we'll see if we can't get you get you guys a video how the trail cameras to show you how this baits working okay guys thanks till the next time mm -hmm.